Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I am so, so, <laughs> so, so, so a little tired. Ah, you're ti tired. Yeah, me, a little me busy. Too. yeah, I am. I am tired too. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 Mucho gusto de verles a todos. Uh, vamos a comenzar con la asistencia. Permítanme nada más que preparo la lista por acá. Está lloviendo bien fuerte aquí. No sé dónde están ustedes. Esperemos que no haya dificultades de conexión, ¿verdad? Pero si llegase a ver, pues desde ya les aviso que aquí está. No sé si alcanzan a escuchar, pero está lloviendo bien, bien, bien fuerte. Ok, vamos entonces. Permítanme solo un instante. Ok, aquí vamos. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Okay, everybody, I'm going to call the attendance. When you hear your name, please let me know. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Vamos por acá. Ok, next. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Ok, thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Isaac Ab Adbonay Tobar. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Si se escucha mucho ruido es porque está atrapada en un restaurante con la lluvia. Ah, ok. <laughs> Atrapada bajo la lluvia. Sí. Ok, ok. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Él en el, en el chat le ha escrito, creo. Vamos a ver por acá. I can't use my microphone, but I'm here. Okay, thank you. Okay, María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Mm, permítanme. Okay, Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalba. I'm here. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander 
Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Antonio dice, tengo problemas con el audio. Ok, aquí le tomamos su asistencia. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Prendalí Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie Prendalí Vázquez Méndez. Ok, voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado por si se han incorporado en lo que pasábamos la lista. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Y Dalia Margarita García Cruz. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Ok, pasaremos asistencia al final nuevamente. Comenzamos con esta sesión. All right, everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. This is session number four, and today's May 25th of 2023. Welcome. Take a good look. Un repaso de lo de ayer. Present simple, affirmative form. Okay, this is present simple. You say they read, he likes, I work, etc. That's the present simple tense. So with the subjects, I, we, you, and they, you use the verb in base form. You say, I read, we like, you work, they live, I watch, we do, you have. But when the subject is he, she, or it, then the verb changes a little bit. You say, he reads, she likes, it works, he lives, she watches, it does, he has. So remember, he works, she lives, it rains, etc. I work in an office, my brother works in a bank. He works in a bank. Okay, por acá nos escribe Juan Antonio. Okay, copiado Juan Antonio, muchas gracias. Amanda lives in Houston. She lives in Houston. Her parents live in Chicago. They live in Chicago. It rains a lot in the winter. With the, with the verb have, you have to be careful because it changes. I have, he has, she has, it has. Okay. John has lunch at home every day. Lucia has two children. Okay. Now, the spelling rules. Okay, mucho cuidado acá. Normally, you add S to most of the verbs. This is only for he, she, it in affirmative sentences. Add S to most verbs. Work becomes works. Live becomes lives. Read becomes reads. Now, you add ES to verbs ending in S, Z, X, SH, C, H, or O. For example, you say miss, misses, fix, fixes, finish, finishes, watch, watches, do, does, go, goes. And finally, if a verb ends in a consonant plus Y, you change Y for IES. For example, you have study, you have consonant D and Y, so you say studies, IES. Try, you have consonant R and Y, so you say tries, IES, okay? 
if you have a vowel, for example, with the verb play or with the verb stay, this is a different story because you have, let me show you, you have a vowel in Y. So when that happens, you only add the S, okay? The same thing happens here. You have the final combination, vowel and Y. It's not a consonant, okay? So you only add S. Si usted tiene una vocal y luego Y, no le vaya a cambiar nada, solo agregale la S, ¿verdad? Ahí no hay, no hay nada que hacer. Those are the rules. So we solved this exercise yesterday. You have read, she reads, think, he thinks, it flies, he dances, she has, it finishes, he sleeps, she lives, he cries, and he watches. And we had this exercise. Recuerden un poquito este ejercicio lo resolvimos, ¿verdad? Casualmente ayer tuve el mismo tema, entonces estoy un poco confundido. Este ejercicio sí lo resolvimos, ¿verdad? O no. Chat entry right here. Yes. Okay. Sí. Entonces sí. Okay. He plays the piano. They live in a big, very big house. She eats a lot of fruit. He plays tennis. We go to the movie. They go to the movies a lot. And uh, he sleeps seven hours a night. Okay. And also we completed this exercise. Okay. Uh, with the verbs. Maria speaks four languages. Banks open at nine in the morning. Este ejercicio también lo resolvimos, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. The art museums closes at five in the afternoon. Jessica is a teacher. She teaches math to young children. Uh, then we have, my job is very interesting. I meet a lot of people. Mike's car is always dirty. He never washes it. Food is expensive. It costs a lot of money. Shoes are expensive. They cost a lot of money. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Amy and I are good friends. I like her and she likes me. Okay. Now the grammar focus. Okay. So here we go. We also have to go with the questions. Acuérdense de la forma de pregunta también. ¿Cómo va la forma de pregunta? Fíjense acá. Simple present WH questions and statements. You have to remember this, okay? You use do with the subjects, I, you, we, and they. And when the subject is he, she, it, you use does. So you say he does, she does. Sorry, she does, and also it does. But this is a question, so you use the auxiliary at the beginning. Hay que ocupar el auxiliar al principio y no después. Okay, so to make a question, you use do, and you use does. And after that, let me show you. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you. You use the auxiliary verb, the subject, and then the verb in base form. This is very important. Cuando estamos en preguntas, ocupamos el verbo en su forma base, todas las veces. Okay, so you say, do I work? Say, do I have, okay. Uh, well, you can say, do I work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to copy this. Okay, do you live? It's an example. Do we have? It's another example. Do they go? That's another one. Okay, with he, she, and it, again, you have to use the verb in base form. Con he, she, it, siempre se ocupa el verbo en forma base en la pregunta también. So you say, does he have? Nunca me vayan a poner has porque sería incorrecto. Does she live? Okay. Does it have, etc. So this is the structure that you use with yes, no questions. But what happens when you have information questions or WH questions? That's a little bit different. Take a look. When that happens, you need a WH word. Let's move this up a little bit. Yeah. 
Okay, when that happens, you have to use a WH word. You say where, okay? You say, for example, where do I work? You can also repeat it here and say, where do you live? Okay, you can say, what do we have? You can say, when do they go, etc. And the same thing happens here. You can use, uh, you can use, for example, which one does he have? Okay, where does she live? Why? does it have, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the structure. Remember, you have to use the auxiliary, do in this case, let me show you, and also does. Wait, does here, does, and does. Question is, usted va a utilizar una WH word seguido del auxiliar y luego el subject y va a terminar con un verbo en forma base. Siempre en forma base, en la pregunta. Miguel Antonio, do you have a question? Which one? Okay, which one significa cuál? Cuál de todos, ¿verdad? Which one? Which one does he have? ¿Cuál tiene él? Okay. ¿Cuál de persona o de cosas? Bueno, de cosas, más bien. No, se puede personas también. Which person? Se puede decir también. Which person? Which student? Which worker? It's possible. Yes. No es Ezequiel. Uh -huh. eh, tengo una duda. Dígame. He estado viendo que cuando dice usted los verbos en base son, son los verbos en infinitivo. El infinitivo el infinitivo, para no confundirnos, hay una forma que se conoce como to infinitive. Uh -huh. Esa es la forma del verbo con to. Por ejemplo, to work, to live, to have, to go, etc. Entonces, en algunos verbos, en algunos, perdón, en algunos libros se les conoce como infinitive form. Pero para uh -huh. evitar la confusión, también se les conoce como to infinitive a esta forma que lleva el to, ¿verdad? Sí. Cuando no lleva el to, entonces se le llama verb in base form, verbo en forma ah, más, es decir, sin okay. ninguna modificación. Ok, y, y esta clase de question, uh -huh. que se usan los where, what y when, uh -huh. eh, se ocupan solo en, digamos, en la gramática, pero quiero ver... En el tiempo presente, nada en el pasado ni en el futuro, solo en el ¿Cómo, presente. ¿Cómo no? Se puede ocupar en cualquier tiempo de en verbo. Todo, todo. Ajá, sí. En todo ah, tiempo okay. de verbo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, tenía esa duda. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. So you say, what do you do? Always remember that the question, what do you do, means what is your occupation. So you have, I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. That's the name of the company. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. And the last one, how does she like it? She loves it. Okay, by the way, there's a question right here. Una pregunta muy común en inglés. Cuando usted le pregunten, how do you like tal y tal cosa? Okay, that means what is your opinion on or about this and this thing? For example, if they ask you, how do you like rock music? That means, what is your opinion on rock music? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Et cetera, et cetera. You can say, how do you like your, how do you like your school? ¿Sí? ¿Qué te parece tu escuela? How do you like your workplace? ¿Qué le parece su lugar de trabajo? That's a question right there. How do you like tal y tal cosa? So you have it here. How does she like it? ¿Qué le parece? She loves it. That's how it goes. So, 
complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Okay. So the first question is, and this is the knowledge check 2.4. Okay. What do you do? Then they say, I am a full-time student. I study the violin. Okay. Pronunciation, violin. Not violin, but violin. The next one, we need a volunteer who can tell me. ¿Quién nos ayuda con eso? Es el mismo ejercicio del Knowledge Check 2.4. Luis Alfredo. Uh, and what do you go to school? What do you go to school? Okay. <laughs> go Sorry, sorry, again. Uh, yes, and and what do you do? And what do you go to school? Okay, go is good. It's the correct verb, but what is not the correct WH word? You need to use a different one. No. Okay, let's see, Luis Enrique. Where, where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Uh -huh. And where do you go to school? And then he says, a la Veronica. I go to the New York School of Music. I go to the New York School of Music. Okay, thank you very much. What about the next one? I need a volunteer, please. Bon appetit, Luis. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Excuse me. No, no worry. No problem. No hay ningún problema. No hay ningún problema. Okay. Ajá. Pues prefiero ahí bien, bien comidos y poniendo atención que pensando que tienen hambre. Ok. Catherine Andreina. Ok. Eh, wow. What do you like your classes? Oh, what do you like your classes? Ok. Um, it's a different word. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can see the examples um, right here. Aquí puede ver los ejemplos. Por aquí está, ¿eh? Okay. Where do you like your classes? Where do you like your classes? Mm, no, sorry. It's a different word. But thank you. Luis Enrique. How? How do you like your classes? How do you like your classes? Okay, que le parecen sus clases, right? How do you like your classes? What well, we were mentioning, right? How do you like your classes? What is your opinion? Okay, so, oops, I'm afraid. Uh, how do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Bueno, ya lo había puesto, así que iba. Number two. Mm -hmm. What is the question? A la Veronica. What does, doesn't Tanya do? Uh, does or doesn't? Doesn't. What doesn't Tanya do? Hmm. <laughs> Not exactly. Okay, sorry. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Marina Amaya? The microphone, Marina? <laughs> Excuse me. What does Tanya do? What does Tanya do? The positive form, okay? What does Tanya do? Okay, parecida a la pregunta, what do you do? Solo que como es she, what does Tanya do? Okay, thank you. Uh, she's a teacher, so. Miguel Antonio. Ah, tiene problemas con el audio, vamos a ver. She teaches, okay, art class, an art class. Yeah, correct. Okay, she teaches an art class. Okay, very good. At a school in Denver. Okay, the next one. And what about Ryan? What's the question? Raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Luis Alfredo. Uh, see, yes. Uh, where does he work? Where does he work? Okay, very good. Where does he work? Good. Okay, Luis Enrique, the next one. He works. 
for a big uh, computer company. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. Very good. Thank you. Num uh, the next one. Volunteer, if you know, please raise your hand. Can I? Yes. Okay. Uh, what does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? Okay. He's a website designer. So he, the last one, correct, please. Thank you very much. The last one. Miguel Antonio, vamos a ver el chat. <laughs> he takes fantastic websites. Mm, no, sorry, it's a different verb, but thank you for your participation. Marjorie. No? Okay. Eh, uh -huh. sí, so, solo, sí, sí, eh, solo que no... Me equivoqué, me equivoqué, me equivoqué. Ok, ok, no hay problema. Marina. He loves fantastic websites. He loves fantastic websites. Mm, no, sorry, it's a different verb. But thank you for your participation. Luis Alfredo. Um, I, I think I, is, uh, he works fantastic websites. He works fantastic websites. He works. No, but thank you for your participation. Luis Enrique. Recuerden, eh, una, una, un, un, un paréntesis, un paréntesis, antes de continuar. Eh, a veces observo que, digamos, eh, levantan la mano y, digamos, yo le doy la palabra a alguien más y luego la bajan. Le doy la palabra a quien levantó la mano primero. A mí me aparece justo el orden en que van levantando la mano. La recomendación es mantengan la mano levantada porque probablemente, como ha sido en este caso, ¿verdad? Que estamos probando, varios intentan, pero todavía no llegamos a la respuesta correcta. No bajen la manita, manténganla ahí levantada si no han participado aún para yo, digamos, no perder quien sigue. Porque a veces veo que la levantan, le digo a otro, inmediatamente la bajan. Pueden mantenerla levantada, ¿verdad? Por si acaso el compañero o la compañera no llega a la respuesta correcta, pues sigue usted. ¿Verdad? Ahí ya garantizamos que sigue usted. Ok, sorry, Luis, sorry for the interruption. No, no problem. Uh, so the question is, what does he do exactly? Mm -hmm. I guess that the answer is he makes fantastic websites. Makes sense, but it's a different verb. But thank you, Luis. Maria Magdalena. <laughs> okay. He studies. He studies fantastic websites. Mm, thank you, but it's a different verb. Thank you very much. Ada Veronica. He is fantastic website. He is fantastic websites. No, it's not the verb be, but, but thank you, Ada. Ay, ahí alguien me bajó la manita. ¿Quién me quería participar? Oscar Mauricio. He has fantastic websites. He has fantastic websites. Not really. No, sorry. But thank you for your participation. Luis Alfredo. Uh, he elaborates fantastic websites. He elaborates fantastic websites. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Pero todavía falta ahí. Veamos lo que dice antes. Dice, he is a website designer. ¿Qué hacen los diseñadores? En español. Diseñar. Diseñar. Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos por ahí? He, uh -huh. he, designs, he designs. He designs fantastic websites. Mm -hmm. Ahí está la respuesta. He is a website designer. That means he designs fantastic websites. Everybody, thank you for your participation. That was very interesting. Okay. Now, remember this. Okay. For the subjects I, you, we, and they. You use the verb in base form for the subjects he, she, it. You use the verb in uh, with S, E, S, or I, E, S. This is for affirmative sentences. Work becomes works. Take becomes takes. Study becomes studies. Teach teaches. Do does. Go goes. Have becomes has. 
Okay, next. Okay, it's 8.30, so we only have half the class now. Y vamos. Just a moment. Okay. Just give me a second right here. Okay, in this lesson, you will listen to a conversation. So, una corrección acá. To a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. En esta clase escucharán una conversación donde las expresiones de tiempo son presentadas por primera vez. Okay, so here we go. Give me a moment, please. Okay, so it's the conversation. I start work at five. Give me a moment. Okay, just a second. So um, I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen. And after that, I will need volunteers to read the conversation. But first, let's listen to it. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Can you hear that? Yes, okay, from the beginning. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, that's the conversation. Page 11, exercise 7. Okay, um, all right. I need two volunteers, one man, one woman, one gentleman, one lady. Okay, so we have Catherine was first, then Noe. Please, Catherine and Noe. Uh, Noe, you play Daniel, and Catherine, you play Helen. Please, let's read this. Okay. Uh, so do you uh, can you can you repeat it, please? So do you... okay. Veamos, no. Uh, okay, this is so do do you usually come to gym in the morning? Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Helen says. Yeah, I do. Okay. Really, what time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Uh huh. Daniel says. Wow, that's late. Where do you get home at night? I usually get up at midnight. Midnight? That is like, what do you do exactly? Um, I think the announcer, I go to work with a report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Mm -hmm. Oh, you Helen Black. I love your show, by the way, in Daniel. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. All right. So the conversation goes like this. Thank you, uh, Catherine and Noe. Daniel asks, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? And Helen says, yeah, I do. Daniel says, really? What time do you go to work? Helen says, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. And Daniel says, wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? When do you return home? Helen says, I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, says Daniel. That is late. What do you do exactly? What is your occupation? 
And Helen says, I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on, on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? And Daniel says, oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, Pablo Josue? Pablo, ¿tiene una duda? ¿Mm? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What the me, by the way? By the way, okay. I'm going to show you right here. When you say, by the way, comma, and then you continue talking, that means, por cierto, or a propósito, that's the meaning of by the way. Por cierto, a propósito. By the way, okay. Por cierto, a propósito. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? Mm, a no, sir. A TV announcer, okay? For example, in the news, you see a person giving the news. There is another person giving the weather report. That's a TV announcer. Okay. All right. Um... So that's a TV announcer. Es un presentador de televisión. TV announcer. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Isaac, Adbonai Tobar. All right. Este, I had a one question. What do you say? Reco Reconcing? The pronunciation. Yeah. The pronunciation. Okay. Recognize. Recognize. Tent. Mm hmm. Uh, very good. Okay. Any other questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Mm -hmm. No more questions? Okay. So here we go. Lesson objective, take a good look. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverse of time. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de identificar y de usar expresiones de tiempo tales como a las en alrededor de, ¿cierto? Se fue aquí un espacio, ok, alrededor de tarde, temprano, antes, después, hasta all those expressions. So take a good look at this. We have the grammar focus of this lesson. Time expressions, okay? Now look, you say, for example, I get up at seven, okay? When you want to express a specific time, you can use the preposition at. My question for you is, what time do you get up? In my case, I get up at 3.30 in the morning, very early, okay? What time do you get up? ¿Qué tal ustedes? Raise your hand, please. What time do you get up? Use the preposition at, please. Pregunta abierta para toda la clase. Luis Enrique and then Juan Antonio. Luis Enrique, what time do you get up? I usually get up at 5.30 a.m. Usually get up at 5.30 a.m. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. <laughs> From uh, Monday to Saturday, mm -hmm. I get up at uh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Wow. Yep. That's very early. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because my worry is to... Uh, far away far away yeah okay okay you work far far away you work in la union <laughs> <laughs> no. no no not really uh, i live 
I live in Zacate. I work. My work is in uh, San Salvador. Oh yes, yes. You have to get up very early. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay then, Idalia Margarita. What time do you get up? I get up at five a.m. I get up at five a.m. Okay, that's good. Yes. Marjorie Marilyn. What time do you get up? I get up uh, at 3 a.m. I get up at 3 a.m. Okay, very early in the morning. Wow. Casi no duermen, Javi. Okay, so uh, Maria Magdalena, what time do you get up? Sorry, I usually get up at 6, 6 a.m. 6 a.m., wow. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay. I usually get up at 6 a.m. Wow. I wish. <laughs> ya quisiera yo. Okay, nice. Marina Amaya de Mata, what time do you get up? I get up 3 a.m. for okay. to cook and go to work. At 3 a.m. to cook and go to work. Okay, so remember the preposition. You say, I get up okay. at 3 a.m. I get up at 3 a.m. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Luis Alfredo, what time do you get up? I get up at 6 a.m. I get up at 6 a.m. Wow, yes. that's really nice. Every day. Every day, wow. On weekday, on, on, on weekdays uh, at 6. Okay, uh, every day, seven days a week. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, then. Everybody, thanks for your participation. The next one is, I go to bed around 10. If you cannot give an exact time, you can use the preposition around, okay? I go to bed around 10. What time do you usually go to bed? I go to bed around 11, okay? In my case, I go to bed around 11. What time do you usually go to bed? Si siempre la hora de acostarse, hay gente que bien religiosamente ¿verdad? se acuesta a la misma hora, pero por lo general mm, varía bastante. Por eso utilizamos around. Who can tell me? Ada, Verónica, what time do you go to bed? I generally, I go to bed every day and 12 and 40. 12.40. Uh-huh. 12. 12 that is 12 after after midnight. Yes. Wow. And what time do you get up? Mm, I get up uh, at 10. At 10 a.m. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo, you sleep a lot. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, Juan Antonio. Ah, sorry, Idalia. Okay, she's first. Idalia, what time do you go to bed? Idalia? I go to bed around 11. I go to bed around 11. Okay, good, thank you. Juan Antonio Brand and then Isaac Adbonay. Well, I go to bed around 11 or midnight. Around 11 Every or day. midnight. Okay, 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 yeah. good. And you get up at three in the morning? Yep. Oh my God, you only sleep three or four hours. Yep, from oh Monday to Friday, Saturday, no. Okay. Because Saturday, next day is, uh, Sunday, uh -huh. and I can uh, uh, get up at 9 a.m. Okay, that is nice. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Isaac, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed around 11 p.m. I go to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, yeah. thank you. Maria Magdalena, how about you? I go to the bed uh, 11 uh, or oh, half past 11. Okay, so you say I go to bed around 11 or half past 11. Okay, okay, good. 
Pablo Josué, and then Marjorie Marley. Pablo Josué. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what is the difference between I get up and I wake up? Ah, two different actions. Get okay. up means levantarse. Wake up means despertarse. Thank you. Ajá, nos despertamos con la alarma, pero de ahí la hora que nos levantamos ya... Otra cosa. Dep depende de la fuerza de voluntad de cada uno. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First, you wake up. And after that, you uh, get up. Okay? That's the difference. Okay. Uh, Marjorie. I I go to bed around uh, eleven. Uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice mi noche? Uh, Mid midnight. It's right here. Midnight. Midnight. Oh. Oh. oh pasada la medianoche. Past, Past midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Midnight. Okay. And For you my get baby. up. And you get up at three in the morning. Yes. Oh my God. Ah, you have a baby. Yes. Ah, okay. That's really nice. Miguel Antonio. El último porque si no, no pasamos de acá. Okay, Miguel, in the chat. I have a question. At is the time. Yeah, you use at when you want to mention the exact time. Around when the time is not exact. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, the next one, you say, I leave work early, temprano, I voy de trabajo temprano, I leave work early, I get home late. I get home means I arrive home. I stay up. What is the meaning of stay up? Es permanecer despierto o desvelarse también. Okay, I stay up until midnight. I stay up. Permanezco despierto hasta la medianoche o me desvelo hasta la medianoche. And then you have, I wake up before noon. I wake up after noon. Okay. Some other time expressions that you can use are here. Take a good look. You say in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, but you say at night. Okay. Cuidado, ¿verdad? Se dice in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, pero cuando decimos night es at night. Okay. If you want to mention a specific day of the week, you say on Saturdays, on Sundays, on Mondays, etc., etc. You can also say on weekdays. What are the weekdays? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays. Those are the weekdays. You can say on weeknights, what are the weeknights? The nights of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On weekends, what is week? What is the weekend? Saturday and Sunday. On Fridays. Now, expressing clock time, you can use seven, seven o'clock, seven a.m., which is seven in the morning. 7 p.m., which is 7 in the evening. What are we going to do? We have this exercise. Complete these sentences with time expressions. Number one, Miguel Antonio. Vamos a ver el chat. On, number one, I get up on six in the morning. No, it's a bit different. Because we're talking about specific time. Let's see, Isaac. I get up at six uh -huh. in the morning on the Wednesdays. The last one, I get up at six in the morning? On the Wednesday. On Wednesdays. Okay, yeah, I get up at six in the morning on Wednesdays. Thank you. Idalia Margarita, number two. El micrófono. I go to bed 
until midnight with night. I go to bed until midnight. Okay. Yes. No exactamente porque estamos no. hablando de una situación que sucede justo en ese momento. Si vamos a decir o hablar de algo que sucede y termina hasta ese momento, entonces sí decimos until. Pero en este caso estamos hablando de algo que sucede justo en ese momento, no que termina en ese momento. Entonces no utilizamos until. Sería un poquito diferente. But thank you for your participation. Ada Verónica. And then Maria Magdalena. Number two, Ada. I go to, to bed on midnight. No, in midnight. Mm -mm. On weeknights. Okay, on weeknights is correct, but in midnight is not correct. Midnight is a specific hour, specific time. At midnight. That is correct. At midnight, At on weeknights. Midnight, Así correct. es. Como es una hora específica, la medianoche son las 12 a.m., ¿verdad? Así que at. Thank you. María Magdalena, number three, please. I start work at half past 11 at night. I start work at half past 11 at night. Or I start work at 11.30 at night. Very good. Thank you, María Magdalena. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán, number four. Yes. I have, lot, I have lunch uh, at three. At three in the afternoon mm -hmm. on Fridays. I have lunch at three, three in the afternoon, at on, three Fridays. afternoon on Fridays. On Fridays. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Idalia Margarita, number five. Um, I stay at on, until, until 1 a.m. A.m. Yeah. Okay, I stay up until 1 a.m. and then? In the weekend. In the weekends. In weekends. Mm, the second one is not correct. Oh. The first one is. Uh -huh. Sorry. That on is... weekends. On, on weekends. weekends. That's correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, number six. Number six. Who can help us? Ada Veronica. And then Oscar Mauricio. I have a little snap at night in the evening. Correct. I have a little snack at nine in the evening. Good. And Oscar Mauricio, number seven. I sleep um, before um, afternoon um, on Sunday. Uh, no, sorry. Well, you mentioned two words, but you have to mention only one. But it's neither of those. Um, afternoon on Sunday. I sleep. No. No, sorry. It's a different word. I sleep. A esa hora termina. Así que. It's, it's, teacher, that's it. Yes. I sleep um, afternoon on Sunday. Afternoon on Sundays. No, sorry. On Sundays is good, but afternoon is not correct. But thanks for your participation. Luis Alfredo. I sleep until noon on Sundays. I sleep until noon on noon Sundays. On Sunday. Very good. Okay, those are the expressions. Study the expressions, okay? Este también es el knowledge check 2.9. Okay, así que... Tienen que haber completado todo eso. Acuérdense, para el día de hoy. 2.9 knowledge check. Okay, let's continue. We only have five minutes, so we need to finish. Lesson objective. In this class, participants will develop listening skills for specific information about daily schedules. En esta clase, los participantes desarrollarán su habilidad auditiva escuchando información específica sobre itinerario diario. Okay. Give me a second, please. Just a moment.
All right. There's the listening part, daily schedules. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. Okay, so Rodney, what's the job? Chef gets up at, in the case of Tina, 7 a.m. Gets home, regresa a casa, right? In the case of Ellen, 9 p.m. Goes to bed at what time? You tell me. I'm going to play the track. Everybody, please listen and take notes. Tomen apuntes, por favor, porque... Eh, bueno, aquí vamos. We only have four minutes. Let's listen to this. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Listen again. Just a moment. Listen again. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, here we go. Porque tenemos poco tiempo, podemos contestar sin levantar la mano ahorita. Aproveche. Okay, so Rodney, the job is Chef Blanca Esmeralda. Bueno, levanta la manita. What time does he get 9 up? 9 p.m. 9 p.m., are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Um, it's 9, but not p.m. 9, but not p.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay. okay. Yeah, 9 a.m. Yeah, 9 a.m. Okay, the next one is okay, gets one home is at? Home at? 11 p.m. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Okay. Okay. And goes to bed at? Goes to bed at? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Very good. What about Very Tina? What about What's her Tina? job? Office manager. Office manager. Office manager. Okay. Uh, gets home at? 7 a.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Very good. Goes to bed at? Midnight. Midnight. Okay, good. What about Ellen? What's her job? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Good. And gets up at? Gets up at? 6 p.m. 5 p.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay. And goes to bed at? Around 10. Around 10. Around 10. 10 p.m. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's listen. That's the end of it. Ahí terminamos la sección. Les recomiendo siempre vayan, ¿verdad?, eh, al día con todo eso porque todo eso se manda al final de la semana a Insafor así que tenemos que ir bien al día eh, si nos vamos atrasando por favor vamos ahí recuperándonos lo otro es recuerden siempre 
poner su cámara es uno de los requisitos, ¿verdad? En algunos casos me comentan por ahí, ¿verdad? Hoy no puedo por esta y otra razón. Pero si usted está en su casa, ¿verdad? Con Wi-Fi y toda cuestión, pues, pues también pongamos la cámara porque es uno de los requisitos del programa. El otro es también el nombre completo. Nombre completo siempre, ¿ok? Eso es bien necesario. Voy a pasar a asistencia por última vez. Solamente aquellos que no me han contestado. Veamos, tengo por acá Delmi Alexandra Ruz, eh, perdón, Ramos Cruz. ¿Está por aquí? Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Ok. Vamos entonces. Everybody, thank you very much. And I will see you on Monday. No class tomorrow. Remember, it's Friday. A mí no me mencionó. ¿A quién no mencioné? A Marina. Marina. ¿Cómo no? Si la mencioné. Y aquí está su asistencia. Ya tomada. Bueno, gracias. Ok. <laughs> ok. Good night. See you on Monday. Happy week. Happy weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.